coming in. Wagner Group versus Russian Army. The war is escalating. Wagner Group released photo of a Russian helicopter it claims to have shot down earlier today. Russian President Putin has termed the Wagner Group a deadly threat to Russia. So this is uh, this is the biggest challenge perhaps uh, that uh, Russia is facing that Putin is facing ever since uh, the Ukraine war began Ukraine so far has only said that they are watching the situation uh, but you know this uh, this perception war also is being escalated by the Wagner group Abhishek Jha is with me on the phone line Abhishek first and foremost explain to us what is happening and also if you can weave in uh, the importance of the Wagner group why is their mutiny uh, you know so important as far as Russia and Putin is concerned so Wagner Group holds a lot of, uh, you know, strength in Russia's overall uh, defense uh, and combat architecture. Uh, the group, which is uh, led by Prigozhin, uh, had been a very close confidant of Vladimir Putin. In fact, it is said that one time he was uh, the chef. He used to be the chief chef of Vladimir Putin. So this is uh, the, the legend that that goes on, and he's been appointed this uh, this chief of this uh, this combat unit, which is said to be very disciplined, uh, well trained, and well. Uh, you know, battle-hardened groups. So clearly these were the people who were actually responsible for taking over a lot of territory in Ukraine. Uh, they were fighting in the front when Russian forces were not being able to penetrate to the uh, defense of uh, Ukrainian forces. Uh, so those advancements that uh, Bakhmut in, in, in Bakhmut, these group have been able to achieve, uh, have lauded by President Putin also. But now it looks like Wagner Group, uh, like the President Putin himself has said, has got its own personal ambition and this is where Prigozhin has become sort of a rebel, uh, where Russia has declared, the state of Russia has declared him a traitor, and uh, there has been, uh, you know, reports that he will be treated uh, with, the, with further consequences because uh, as, as a traitor or as a rebellious, uh, as an armed rebellious. Hmm. Now, the security situation in Russia is pretty uh, precarious. We have seen, uh, you know, major cities across Russia uh, tanks uh, and major big armored vehicles have been rolled out. Army personnel in camouflage with guns can be seen roaming around the city. This is not a sight that a typical Russian city would look like. In fact, the police presence in these cities are also very limited, not in the civil areas. So this is a clear uh, panic situation that the Russian uh, cities are currently witnessing. We have seen certain reports uh, where it is believed that Russian forces, which were trying to stop Wagner advancement towards uh, Moscow, one of the helicopters has been downed by the air defense force of Wagner Air Defense uh, Equipment uh, under the Wagner Force. This particular group has its footprints across uh, Russian towns and cities? I mean, is that why the Russian government, the Russian defense ministry is worried? Uh, in a way, yes, because in the last six months, it is believed that Prigozhin has been able to create uh, some sort, sort of footing uh, in St. Petersburg and other part of uh, Russia as well, where he has tried to recruit people into his army because of the the, the, the special operation or the war that, that Russia is with Ukraine. In fact, in the last six months, he has traveled much of the Russian territory uh, right. in a way. Abhishek, just give me a moment. There, there's more update coming in. Just hang in there. This is the latest update that we have as far as Russian situation is concerned. The Wagner Group chief has said that the fighters of his group will not turn themselves in. This is after... Russian President Putin said that, you know, this is an act of treason. He said that action will be taken. The Wagner group is fighting it out. Uh, they first put out pictures of a helicopter being down. Uh, they put out a message on, on uh, you know, social media groups associated with them saying Putin has made the wrong choice and soon Russia will have a new pr president. And now the, the chief of the group says that the fighters will not turn themselves in. Abhishek, single biggest challenge that Putin has faced ever since the Ukraine war began? Of course, that it's not ever since the Ukraine war began. Ever since I think the Russian president has taken over the, the the power in Russia, this is the first time that he is facing such a huge internal security challenge, where a person who is being a close confidant of the the president uh, has become rebellious, and that too with an army of more than twenty five thousand people, well equipped, well trained, and battle hardened, and marching towards Moscow. This is a scary situation that could rattle any any uh, any leader of any country right now this is less than 24 hours right now and there are certain uh, so many confusing statements and developing situation initially the wagner group uh, are said that they are uh, directing their anger and frustration towards the military establishment sitting in moscow but after putin has termed their action as rebellious and an armed mutiny and said that they will be facing consequences if they don't turn them in 
Uh, now, Wagner Group Chief Prigozhin has said that President Putin will be dethroned and they will establish a new president. So these are the latest developments uh, that has uh, come in the forefront in the less than 24 hours of time. And whatever is happening in Russia is very less uh, limited information is coming out because uh, we know ever since the Ukraine war has started, most of the foreign journalists have been asked to leave the mm. Russian territory. Mm. So whatever information we are getting through are through various Telegram channels or uh, Wagner Group, uh, you know, affiliated channels or Russian uh, government affiliated channels. Any person sitting on the ground and reporting a neutral stand is very limited and very few. Uh, so the current situation, however, the visuals can be clearly seen where uh, Russian forces or armored vehicles it can be seen moving around the city. Uh, a week, almost a week of less activity has been asked for the people that they should not be doing any major activity, public places have been shut, any public event have been cancelled. Uh, that clearly tells the kind of panic or the concern that the Russian state is also feeling right now in the okay. face of Wagner Group marching towards Moscow. Abhishek, keep an eye on that story. We are coming back to you in a bit. But, uh, you know, our colleague Sanjay Suri, who has travelled to Ukraine and who has kept a close eye on the Russia-Ukraine situation, sent us this analysis of how uh, the situation is developing in Moscow. Take a look. Putin has spoken out now on the armed rebellion underway in an address to the nation and aiming clearly at Moscow. He made it clear that the ones leading this rebellion cannot expect to limit the target to Defense Minister Shoigu and Chief of Staff Gerasimov and stop there. He called the rebellion a stab in the back for Russia and a deadly threat. Prigozhin, he said, without naming him, has betrayed Russia for personal ambition. And it is significant that he spoke of the one leading the rebellion he did not pointedly named Prigozhin. Putin has made an appeal to Prigozhin loyalists to quit the rebellion and that is quite a change to see Putin issue an appeal and not orders. He clearly is rattled, shaken really and he has asked for unity and consolidation at a time he says when Russia is fighting the might of the West collectively on its borders and speaking as commander-in-chief he said the one leading the rebellion will pay for it. But on the ground, Prigozhin's forces have met very little resistance from the regular Russian forces in their advance to Moscow from Rostov, 200 kilometers away. They moved halfway within a matter just of hours and it's building up now unless checked into a battle for Moscow. And very recently, we have just heard that the Telegram channel and the group that is loyal to uh, Prigozhin on that channel saying that soon uh, we will have a new president. Now that is the first sign we've had of an upfront and direct threat to Putin that this is really aiming at Putin and not just a couple of others close to him. This then could turn out really into a battle that the former cook of uh, Putin is launching against his former boss and now president. And if the aim is to unseat the president, this will be a dramatic change. And we've been hearing for a while that there is discontent brewing up within the Russian military.